Hi guys, till now we have seen data modeling in Tableau. We have also seen what are the various glimpses of uh, what uh, what are the various kind of charts in Tableau. We have seen show me. We have seen what pages and filters can do for us. All right, we'll come back to pages and filters in a while. But right now it's time for us to move on to the next important thing in Tableau, which is marks. Okay. Now for this explanation, I uh, intend to choose a different file. This is a new Tableau file I've opened up, and I'll probably go for another data set that I have, which is this one. P6 Amazing Mart. All right, let me open this up and let me open a new file over here. Okay, and of course we need to do a bit of data modeling before we can start with this. So let me take order breakdown over here. Just have a look at what the data is. Uh, right, just have a look at what are the data type. This is in numbers, which is correct, which is a decimal number. Fair enough. We have order breakdown number, we have order breakdown profit, we have quantity, we have category, we have subcategory, right? And there's a summary over here, which is fine. So this seems to be fine. Order breakdown seems to be fine. Let's take care of the list of orders over here. Now, if I click on list of orders, list of order again has an order ID, has an order date, customer name. Here it has already joined it with order ID over here, right? So it has already assumed that I would like to join these two tables using order ID. Right, which, which is fair enough because both the tables are giving me the details of a certain order. It's transactional level data, right? So these are the details of certain order and hence that is why I should join these two tables using the order ID. So city is taken as a geospatical variable, country is taken as geospatical variable, which is very nice. This is the um, so sorry, advantage with, uh, you know, uh, business intelligence tool that you don't have to assign any kind of data type to them. They'll automatically pick it up. Right segment is there, then we have a ship date, then we have a ship mode and the state, which is also, by the way, taken as geospatical variable. Fair enough. I think it's good. I think it's a very simple modeling that we have done. And now we can follow the instructions for Tableau that we can go to the sheet one. Let's get to the sheet one over here. And in the sheet one, we find that both the tables along with their, you know, uh, measures and dimensions that we have seen in the previous one are already being taken into case okay so here okay all right so i'll just do one thing uh I'll, i just removed the hierarchy over here which is already being created somehow so yeah i'll, I'll just come back to what a hierarchy means hierarchy means before we actually start with you know what what tableau does we can actually create hierarchy over here right what kind of hierarchy for example, I can see that um, if I consider the entire globe, the continents are coming inside globe, countries are coming inside continent, states are coming inside countries and cities are coming inside states. So can I say continent or other the globe, continent, country, state and city in a way follow a very logical hierarchy over here. All right? It's a location hierarchy. That's what we can do over here. Here we have city country and 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 if i'm not wrong i saw state as well yes this is what the state is so i have to put in if i just take this state and put it on top of country right and let's call it location hierarchy let's call it location hierarchy we'll just make it location hierarchy not that it's complete right now just have country and state we have to take city over here and put it now this is complete so this is location hierarchy similarly i can go for probably product level hierarchy because there is a category there is a subcategory there is a product name over here right so i can go for that as well for example i'm sure subcategory will be after category this is my product This is my product hierarchy. And then we have something called as product name, which can be put over here. Right now, the product name comes in over here. And that way we'll take kind of less space over here towards the left side in the table pane. Also, we, uh, you know, oh, there is something called a segment as well. I forgot about that. So segment has to be taken and put it to product hierarchy. Now, obviously, segment is taken above category, subcategory and product name. Right. So this is my product hierarchy. Fair enough. I think this is sorted, right? So this way we can actually create a hierarchy over here. That hierarchy is something like location hierarchy and product hierarchy. Here, we have just seen two hierarchies, which are location hierarchy and product hierarchy. I would like to take this product hierarchy and probably put it over here. Let me see whether we will be able to move it, but that's okay. We're not able to move this right now, but it's okay. I can always use the product hierarchy. 
right and if you're not satisfied you can always go for control z initially the product hierarchy was over here so let me do one thing i'll just open up this hierarchy right and take segment properly just above category that way the product hierarchy still goes down that is fine let's let's keep it over here okay now uh, we have uh, something called as location hierarchy and product hierarchy now what is the advantage of this i'll let you know the advantage of this is pretty simple for example if i let me take up something called as order date and let me take up something called as sales right so in this data we have sales let me move on to the entire view and we can see 11 12 13 and 14 this is quite an old data but 11 12 13 and 14 are the four years over here now can you see in the column shelves there is a plus sign over here right there is a plus sign now this plus sign indicates that there is an hierarchy which is very obvious because time has an hierarchy right year then we have month then we have uh, a week then we have day we can extend the hierarchy to hours to seconds to milliseconds it can go to you know uh, greater extent over here but here year then quarter then month then day week then day it can be extended now if i click on this plus sign the entire data is going to change the entire data is going to change it as per the hierarchy over here if i click on this plus sign now every year is distributed into its four quarters can we see there's a year and there's a quarter so this year all the four quarters data is represented this year all the four quarters data has been represented now if i take this quarter and put it in let's say colors although we haven't seen marks yet but this is what something like this i mean this is something interesting that we get but we'll move on to marks later on right now if i click on this quarter every quarter splits into months now every quarter will have three months so jan feb march that is quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four of 2011 Similarly, four quarters for 2012 and for 13 and 14. It is giving the entire data over here. You can click on this plus sign and now you can drag it down to days as well. Right. How cool is that? But this is slightly clumsy over here. Right now, this is giving the entire days data. Probably this is not what I want to see unless I want to do something specific with the day data. Now, I can collapse the hierarchy at whichever position. I click on month. This is has become a minus sign over here. So I'll just click on this. It becomes the month. I click on this. It collapses down to the quarter level. And if I click on this, it collapses down to the year level. This is called as hierarchy in Tableau. Again, it's there with various BI tools. And I think hierarchy is something which is very, very useful, especially for, uh, you know, um, one, uh, for, for a time, I mean, time period analysis, right? So year, quarter, if you want to split it up further on, I think that is something that is very, very advantageous when we consider hierarchy now now that we have created hierarchy over here we can actually take up the product hierarchy let me take the product hierarchy over here and now initially as you can see it starts with the topmost segment or topmost you know hierarchical element over here which is segment now had there been no hierarchy for example let me take up a factor for example region i haven't put region any any hierarchy over here if i put region over here you won't see that plus sign but if I, let's say, take product hierarchy and put it over here in columns, you'll be able to see that plus sign, which indicates that this is a part of hierarchy. Right now, you're seeing the sales of all the three segments. You click on these segments. Now you can see segment-wise distribution into category, which is furniture, office, supplies, and technology in consumer. Then we have furniture, office, supplies, and technology in corporate. And similarly, these three, these three you know, so categories in home office. I can then click on category and then we can see for every category, there is a subcategory. The all the subcategories are being listed. The sales of the entire subcategory is listed, right? Now, uh, if I just click on this order sign, every section over here, every subcategory is going to order itself. Can you just see furniture in consumer segment is going to order as per the descending order of sales. Similarly, descending order of sales, descending order of sales and so on like this. For all the subcategories, of all the categories that we are considering right now. We can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine subcategories in total, right? Um, of course, categories are furniture, office supplies, and technologies. But if you look at, I'm sorry, these are the categories. Subcategories are many, right? So books, chairs, tables, furnishing, storage, appliances, art, binders, and so on like this. Plenty of subcategories are there, but all these subcategories in a specific order is being put in over here. Now, if I take and I mean, although we have not started using marks over here, 
but uh, I'm kind of getting excited about this. So let me do that. If I take and put up, uh, let's say category over here on color, I can actually assign every category a different color so that things become easily identifiable or probably if not category and if I put segment in color in marks we can see that every segment will have a different color and we can easily bifurcate between segments over here between the subcategory sales of segments over here. This is just a glimpse of the application of marks which we are about to move on to right but I think before we move on to marks I think it, it was important for us to study the subcategory. You click on this plus it will take you to the product level, but this is when it becomes really, really clumsy because there are plenty of products. So this is obviously I would understand that showing a graph like this will not help anyone, right? So that is why I'll just keep it till this particular hierarchy, right? Now, if I uh, take out this hierarchy and let's say try and try the location hierarchy over here, let's say let's try a graph over here, which is called as maps, which is suggested by Tableau as well. So this is something called as maps. Right, it is basically giving you the, uh, you know, it's it's being located over here. The bubbles over here are just showing you where the company is doing its business, where the mart is selling its product. Right now, this is at a country level, right? Now, if I can just click on this hierarchy over here. Right now, we are in marks, but if we click on hierarchy, or probably let's study it on a bar graph only. If I click on this country, it will split into states. All the states are there, right? It basically gives you the bifurcation of all these states. If I click it further, it's going to take you to the city level, which again becomes quite clumsy. So I'll just collapse it down probably till state level. We can see that Scotland is a state which is doing fairly well in, you know, it's it's shining star among the uh, UK, uh, you know, United Kingdom states over here. Although there are only three states, but um, I think this state, right the state of england is doing and doing a fantastic task so this is what hierarchy can do for you guys right so that's why it is important now uh, if you do not want to use the entire hierarchy you can always click on the hierarchy and take only a specific section of that although the plus sign the hierarchy you'll always carry the hierarchy along it uh, with, with the variable but it's okay you can just keep it till that particular point if you want to okay